Hello my soccer universe to the review of what happened at, on the Iberian Peninsula over the weekend. Yes, uh, it's, it is all Real Madrid at the moment. Uh, we will talk about that as well, but uh, Real Madrid putting such a distance between themselves and the rest of the league that it's really hard to see anyone else winning uh, the league. However, we have two Sevilla teams and one of them I'm wearing in bed this. I love this shirt. <laughs> I really do. Uh, Bet is actually up there uh, in the top four together with Sevilla, who was a little bit more expected. So Bet is definitely the, uh, the team at the moment. But, you know, in Spain, I always have the feeling every month there's a different flavor, a different team that is uh, has everyone in rapture. And then they fall off. So I do not wish it to Bet this, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if this would happen in a way, we also had a wildly entertaining game that I didn't see. <laughs> Espanol winning. Uh, and yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that. We also got teeny bit into Portugal, but I didn't see anything. I'll just give you the results and how I see things going there. Um, but just a quick thing on the Champions League draw again. <laughs> Maybe it's really good that I did the whole shebang with the Champions League draw before the league reviews. Of course, Real Madrid is majorly annoyed with the redrawing because uh and i think they do even have a point the first matchup was benfica against real madrid in the original draw and there was no mess up there absolutely none and so uh i can for all the other seven draws there was something going wrong well, all the other seven pairings. However, I do think that Real Madrid has a point that actually the draw should have commenced with putting Benfica and Real Madrid up top. And now Real Madrid have to play PSG, which uh, neither of the teams are really happy about. So yeah, um, good thing we are in a world where we don't get too agitated relatively soon. That Real Madrid is such a calm club that is on very good terms with UEFA. <sighs> It's an absolute mess. Going to Portugal. Uh, as I said, here the results. Um, all the big teams have won. We had a traditional duel between Sporting and Boavista. That's Sporting 1 2 0. So, kind of the second uh, team derby, although Sporting at the moment is the first team in Lisbon. But, you know, historically uh, they are behind Benfica. Benfica having an easy win at Family Gao, which they definitely needed. And Porto win uh, the big rivalry up north against Braga. Uh, one nil, a result that basically leaves the top three as they are. We have Porto and Sporting level on points. Uh, Benfica four points behind. It is at the moment Porto who are favored, but you know I don't. I we have to see. Sporting is a team that I think still can challenge, and then the rest is all you know. The rest in Portugal, did this have not so much squished together. We have Braga, uh, Estoril, Portimonense, uh, Guimarães, and Gil Vicente is one pack, and then the rest is rather. I mean, between Maritimo Belenenge, uh, in ninth and in 18th, they are only six points. So, this is uh, typically Portugal squished together. So, half the league is in a relegation battle. Uh, we actually, no, not yet with a big one between Porto and Benfica is, then, is um, just before Christmas. So yeah, uh, sorry, not too much in Portugal. We'll go directly in, into Spain. As I said, the most entertaining game of probably even the season. I didn't see it. I even haven't seen highlights. Espanyol against Levante. This is basically how you almost how you want the 4-3 uh, to turn, turn out uh, with Espanyol taking the lead in the first half. Levante actually coming back, uh, having a 2-1 lead and after the half an equalized Levante going ahead again. And then um, uh, Puado scoring a brace to uh, give Espanyol the win. And Levante now has the record for the longest streaks of not winning a game in La Liga. Exactly when they probably pull out one of the best performances in La Liga. Uh, Levante is a team that has me really head scratching because I don't think they are a really bad team overall. They just need to get into the winning column because uh, they don't have that many losses, but they have many, 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 many draws. And that's keeps what keeps them uh, down, unfortunately for them. Uh, other Sevilla at Athletic Club, not really convincing performance as Sevilla rarely does convince. That, uh, that is the one thing. For me, Sevilla is one of those uh, 
always a big question mark and one of the more frustrating because they have a good squad they can play brilliantly but uh they neither can make a title challenge no uh except they're in the europa league maybe that uh, that will come but other than that i always feel severe is a little bit uh underwhelming they never get it done uh they got it done here and uh, delaney scores the goal let's see where it will take to take, take them at the moment i would say probably sevilla uh at this very moment probably the second best team in spain but the last time i we kind of proclaimed the best team that they completely fell off again uh we of course have to talk about barcelona again failing to win a game this time at Osasuna having twice the lead uh with a lineup that contains so many young players that you definitely can see that Xavi is trying to rebuild. I mean, Barcelona is in strict rebuilding mode, he even said after the game. They are more relying now on the youngsters than on the old players, which, yeah, if I am Pedro or um, uh, Pique and so on, that doesn't sound all that good, to, to be honest, but I think this is what Barcelona needs to do. And yes, they're missing up front quite a few players. Uh, uh, what I find staggering is all these links now with all the top strikers around Europe. No, you won't get those unless you really generate a lot of cash by suddenly selling Coutinho for a hundred million, which never is going to happen or something like that. Nico, after Gavi assists, give Barcelona the lead, but uh, quickly uh, equalized by Garcia. And then Ezel Zuli. I've never heard of the guy before either. In the fourth or ninth, giving Barcelona a lead, but they cannot hang on. And late on, Avila uh, gives uh, Osasuna an equalizer. And yeah, Barcelona really, really floundering at this moment. Betis with a thumping 4 0 win over Real Sociedad. But if you watch the game film, especially the first half, this was never a 4 0. Maybe Betis deserved the win, but by one goal, because Real Sociedad was well in that game and had. Uh, multiple chances especially for us first time especially for two to, to uh, kind of have at least a draw at half half them and get a little bit uh, um, closer uh, then there was of course the teddy bear toss which uh, so many people make a big deal out of it because seemingly in Europe it's not a big deal but uh, you know in America this happens quite frequently I remember even at the Carolina Hurricanes where you used, used years ago they had this toy drive where you just bring a teddy bear and you throw it on the ice so I, th I think it's a pretty nice thing um, and I think that party atmosphere of throwing teddy bears, I mean, that's fun. That gets every crowd jacked up. Uh, and then Betis just was undeniable. Juanmi, Fekir and Moreno uh, adding a proper route on Real Sociedad, uh, who probably did not expect it. And Real Sociedad really all the injuries and, you know, the problems that they didn't have like in October and November suddenly uh, catch up with them and they have a really hard time getting going. However, the big one in Spain definitely was the Madrid Derby. Um, and the story is quickly told. Real Madrid, again, not rotating and with Modric uh, dominating the game. And I think even I just said Modric is sensational at, at the moment. I really enjoy watching Modric. He's even better when he uh, then when uh, uh, Kovac the first time was younger. This guy is 36 years old. The Real Madrid midfield at the moment is gelling and Angelotti is not rotating because I know he knows that this squad is at the moment working and all the opponents that potentially may could make a title change are really, really faltering. So you don't want to miss any points and Real Madrid are winning, 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 winning. And that might be enough to win La Liga, which is the clear objective for this season. I'm not sure we're going to talk Champions League, but La Liga is definitely there. And uh, I almost put the title in the video Vini, Vidi and Vici uh, instead of Vini, Vidi, Vici uh, because of Vinicius Junior. But this time he just gave two assists, one to Benzema, who Benzema perfectly took and then uh, he had to be taken off. Uh, and the second one uh, to Asensio. Uh, Atletico Madrid actually put a lot of effort in there, but they were never that threatening. It was all Real Madrid being clinically uh, controlling the game. And if Atletico Madrid tried to come up, they just had the right answer. And that's why Real Madrid at the moment is head and shoulders above the rest of the league. And I would be very surprised if they don't uh, win the league at, at the moment. It's 96% at the moment when model spits out. Uh, and it's really hard, 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 hard to see uh, who will challenge them. I mean, Atleti and Sevilla, maybe, but I... I really don't see it at that moment. Uh, yes, there are games in hands for both of these, but no, nah, 
I don't really see it. On the bottom, it's still Levante, but you know, eight draws, nine losses, zero wins. The zero wins, that's the problem. If you have a few more wins, I think uh, Levante actually can get out of it. Uh, we do have a weekend round, as far as I can see. Uh, where, you know, uh, it starts with Celta Espanyol, which I think is an injury on uh, Barcelona against Elche. We had a that against Villarreal that it doesn't sound all the bad. I'm really interested what Betis will pull up at Bilbao. Sevilla against Atletico, huge game, definitely. And Real Madrid against Cadiz, so that's where it goes. In any case, please drop a line below if you want to add anything to what has happening in the two leagues. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!